you know, this is not the first time I've thought this, but man, those not quite ATSTs are really ineffective, aren't they? So we finally get to see Fulcrum, except we don't. Got to maintain the illusion of suspense or whoever it is. I actually have a theory now. I'm not going to say it, but I'll find out if I'm wrong, wrong or right or whatever. I find it funny how Tarkin continues to disbelieve that Kanan is actually a Jedi. I found myself wondering about that. On the one hand, I thought maybe it was because of the fact that, you know, he, he's, he's ruling the party line. The Jedi all die. They were executed. The Purge, etc. But then I got to thinking, wouldn't it be interesting if the reason Tarkin doesn't believe he's a Jedi is because there have been so many Jedi in the last 15 years? Fakes, in other words. People who claim to be one. Someone who found or built a lightsaber and was like, Bruh. And they were just some guy or some gal, right? There's food for thought. I mean, the Inquisitors do exist, and Vader certainly has his work for him, but I kind of like that idea. Speaking of which, I do like how they continue to emphasize how rare and unusual it is to even see something like a Jedi. Notice Visago's reaction. <laughs> You're not a Jedi. You can't... Oh, God. Levitation. <laughs> so then... I don't know. There's some weird moments here or there in this episode. Mostly this episode feels like setup, which is why I don't have a lot to comment on. We've got the unspecified favor, which we owe to Visago, which I'm sure that's going to come up in the future. We've got the, the figuring out of the information and the fact, fact that Kanan is being tortured and is going to be sent to Mustafar. <laughs> Stuff like that. Obviously, this show was being designed to... I, I did actually look into this a little bit, because it's yesterday was when I did those last few episodes, and now I'm fresh starting today. This this show was in many ways designed to try and get drum up interest in Star Wars and get more people interested in Star Wars. And apparently that informed a lot of the season one decisions they made, because there's a fairly large amount of exposition on things that most Star Wars fans would already know. But every now and again, there's a little throw-in that is clearly there for a fan, for someone who's going to be like, oh... It'd be like them going to Malachor 5, you know? It's just, okay, we know what that means, because we're Star Wars fans. Yeah. <clears throat> now, <laughs> I hate to keep making this point, but there's a bit where they go up to an Imperial light cruiser, which is actually based on the old Jedi cruiser back in the Old Republic. That, that works great. That's a perfect level of threat for what they should have in this system. If that was the kind of ship that they had access... I mean, I know it's just a communication ship. But if that was the kind of ship they had access to, other than the two ISDs earlier, that would work perfectly. And then, you know, because you remember, uh, the Sovereign, Tarkin's personal ISD, is still there. It's still in orbit, right? I don't know, just, just food for thought. So... I liked the new droid. This is probably my anti-Chopper bias speaking, but I liked the new droid better than Chopper, despite the fact that he's only been in this episode. It is funny, then, because I found myself thinking, and I have a note here in my notes saying, I hope he actually joins the crew. I mean, it's not like it's that hard to do a little extra voice work of... Right? So it's mostly just a matter of rendering and positioning. And so, okay, yeah, get a new droid in. I'm with it, I'm with it. And then they actually ask him to join the crew, and I'm actually sitting here, I was like, yeah! Yeah! And then Chopper tried to kill him by knocking him out of a flying vehicle hundreds and hundreds of feet in the air. In fact, my actual notes are literally, then Chopper killed him, no wait, he's fine, is actually what I wrote down. <sighs> Thanks, Chopper. So I suppose next episode we'll see where all this buildup is going when we see if Vader is finally going to properly be entering the show. See you next time, guys.